In this video, I'm going to talk about 1035 uh, exchanges, which involve uh, life insurance and annuity contracts. So section 1035A of the Internal Revenue Code dictates the circumstance under which one policy may be exchanged for another without triggering a taxable event. So the following exchange can be made without taxable gain. So here uh, you can see 1035 exchange is uh, for life insurance, annuities, endowments, long-term care insurance. So uh, for those policies exchange with each other. Uh, it's uh, very similar to 1031 exchange, which is a real rental property uh, exchange. So. Um, let's see what type of policy can change it to what type of policy. So first is a uh, contract of the life insurance. You can exchange it to another life insurance, to an endowment, to an annuity, to a qualified long-term care insurance. If the exchange involves life insurance policies, the policy must be on the life of the same insured. So basically, if you... Um, have two life insurance uh, policy exchange. Uh, so you make sure uh, the insured uh, is the same person. So that's basically, so that's a life insurance. You can change it to all four of those type of policies. Then the next is endowment contract. Endowment contract, you can exchange it to another endowment, to an annuity, to an uh, qualified long-term care. So in which beginning date of the regular payment is no late than the original uh, contract. So make sure your payment is, uh, is as early as the original one. Then you can do a, a annuity contract to annuity. You can do uh, extend it to another annuity or long term care. So you can see the option is to get less and less. If the two annuity contracts are exchanged, the contract must have the same owner and the payable to the same person or persons. Pay payments that start no later than the beginning date under the older contract. So that's a requirement as well. Then you have a long-term care, can exchange it to another long-term care. Notice that you cannot go from the annuity or long-term care to life insurance, but you can go life insurance to those contract. So life insurance contract require medical and financial underwriting, while the annuity contract are more typically long health related and have greater uh, similarity to investment vehicles. So you can see to summarize here, Life insurance contract, you basically can exchange it to anything else because life insurance is more restrict, right? In involve underwriting, uh, all those health related, financial related underwriting. So life insurance is more restrict. So, uh, so nothing can exchange it to life insurance. Uh, so besides another life insurance. However, life insurance can change it, exchange it to anything else. So that's the thing. Annuity only can change it to another annuity or long-term care. You can say long-term care, they only can exchange it to long-term care. But everything else can change, exchange it to long-term care too. So it's very interesting here. Um, so let's talk about this tax. So the section 1035 uh, specifically says no gain, no loss, right? Shall be recognized on the exchange of the life insurance contract for another life insurance contract, annuity, endowment, and the contract. If no cash or other property is received in connecting in the exchange, no gain will be recognized. If the new insurance policy carries the same uh, outstanding the indebtedness as a uh, older policy the exchange will be considered tax free so this is a very similar to 1031 exchange so basically if you receive any cash 
um, or you assume you are, you have any debt that was assumed by a, another exchange, the another party. So then, in that case, you have a a boot. So basically, you change you, that is not. Then you will be recognized some gain. You have to pay tax on that. So that's something. The cost basis of the new policy will be the same as the cost basis of the new policy, plus any premium paid and less than excludable or dividend received after exchange. So basically, the cost basis is the same. This provides a great opportunity to avoid gains and offer solutions to clients whose need、uh, needs have changed. So, this rule make cash value policy even more attractive for the young buyer because they can accumulate the money in the life insurance, then convert the to an annuity or long term care if the original life insurance is no longer needed. So. Yeah, basically, say well, if you buy a whole life insurance, right? Uh, so initially you do need the life insurance, then you accumulate the cash value on the whole life insurance. So this cash value is um, you know, the 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 guaranteed uh growth. Those growth are deferred within the account. So in like、uh, you know, if you have those policies for. Ten twenty years, then you no longer need it when you reach the retirement. Then you may say, you know, you know what? I'm just going to exchange this、uh, whole life、uh, policy to a、uh, annuity, so you get a a stream of the income during your life, uh, uh, retirement life. So that can be a good solution too. But, uh, you know, we never know what life changes. You know, for a long time, right? So, um, so that's basically say, uh, that was this, this section ten thirty five exchange. Uh, we don't know, you know, in the future any law changes regarding this section. So, just to keep in mind, nothing staying the same.